Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a great and amazing day today. Now in today's video, we are diving in and we are looking at how I set up my Moomoo swing trading account. So I hope you guys all enjoy this. We're going to be doing a complete tutorial about it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys want to sign up for Moomoo, I'll put a link to it down below. And if you guys want to check out my new swing trading course, I'll put that down below as well. We talk about my strategy, my mindset, how I find stock for swing trading, and pretty much it's a one-stop shop for all of your swing trading needs. I'll put it down below so you guys can check it out but let's dive into this let's go alrighty so once you guys go ahead and download Moomoo this is gonna be the first page that you guys come across now this page here is this is gonna be pretty much your account information this is gonna be pretty much how you deposit funds withdraw funds any statements or you know any positions you're in will show up here and then off to the right what you'll have is a stock of your choosing you know to keep on watch so right now I was looking at ESPR you guys can see the great thing about it is you can keep an eye on the stock chart you can keep an eye on you know the AI monitor as we scroll up they have a ton of information about the stock and then they have the analysis with key indicators EPS like the revenue the you know the total revenue income statement the balance sheet and the cool thing about this is you guys can click on this and it will give you information about the company so you guys will see ESPR and then you know this is another reason I absolutely love Moomoo is just there's there's so much much stuff involved with this software and with this broker it's beautiful now as we scroll down here and we go to the watch list tab this is by far one of the most important things and honestly one of the most important you know menu tabs that I use now you guys will see I was looking at Disney now how you change it is you just click the search so I was looking at SoFi boom you can type it in or you can you know just go on your um, recent history now how you guys add this off to the right here super simple all you got to do is click this little bump out tool it says expand right column information as we click it now it gives us information about the stock we're looking at which is so now we already covered that but the cool thing about you know the watch list tab is you guys can do so much stuff with it you guys can trade on it you guys can have a ton of studies you can draw technical analysis and how you go ahead and do that we'll just start off here is you guys click this gear icon you guys can change how the chart looks you guys can do a whole bunch of things but this is how you guys can add indicators like the moving average lines like the RSI lines and you can change them so I have the 200 the 90 day moving average line I also have the RSI up and as you click it you can change colors and whatever you want to do now, one thing though that a lot of people you know get confused about is how you actually go ahead and you buy on the watch list tab. Super simple. Off to the left hand screen, it says expand the bottom. As we click that, you know, this is where you guys can actually do like different trades. You can trade it, you can buy it, you can have news about the company, uh, the fund flow, so you guys can see where their cash goes, any news, notices, research, any notes. Um, any related stocks options stuff like that so this is awesome so it helps you get more information to make an educated decision on your trade on top of that if you guys want to add different indicators other than going up here you actually can go and click them on the bottom so you guys can see that you can click them and you can get rid of the RSI and then bring it back with a click now off to the left hand side this is gonna be where you guys actually um, this is going to be where you like draw your technical analysis. Super, super simple. All you got to do is go to these drawing tools and you guys can do a line segment. So if you want to do, you know, a line, like a little trend line like that, if you want to do like some horizontal lines for resistance or, you know, for support or whatever, you can do that right there. Now, how you do other lines, it's very, very simple. Let me zoom in and you can zoom in right on the bottom. But how you go ahead and you do it here, you just gotta click these. And this will give you more drawing tools right off to the uh, right off to the right of that. Triangles, circles, rectangles, all that good stuff. So you guys can click them like that. So super awesome, super easy. Now you guys can do other, you know, resistance uh, speed lines. You guys can do so much stuff. Where, you know, for me at least, I don't wanna get too confused when I when I do this, I like to keep everything as simple as possible just because yes, I can get overwhelmed. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and really clarify what something is, you can, you know, if you want to just put S for support, boom, you can, 
you can do that, you know, and move it down here like that or whatever you want to do, you know. It's it's super cool. They have a lot of great things, a lot of great studies. Now, how you go ahead and you change the chart? What I do is I most of the time for swing trading, I will use the daily. So the each candlestick represents one day. This is by far the most common chart that I use. Now, I will occasionally use the weekly and the quarterly just to get a general idea of where the stock has gone and where it can go in the future. So I will occasionally use the quarterly, yes. But in most cases, it's daily, weekly, and then quarterly. Now, for more day traders and swing trade, for more day traders, really, you guys will be using these minute markers. So each candlestick now jumps from a day and a quarter to one minute. This is why a lot of day traders use this because they can use the minutes to make trades. Um, you know, uh, on that. So for me, I don't really use it as a day trader. More along the lines. Um, of, of swing trading, I will use the daily. Now, as we continue to move down here, they have the markets. So this is gonna be where you guys can actually, you know, find stock, look for opportunity. You can do a whole bunch of things here. So this is absolutely great. So if you want to, you know, create a watch list with the stocks that are, um, you know, have, have good buying pressure, good earnings, you know, stuff like that, you can do that, new highs. We'll do a separate video on this, and the cool thing is once you make it, you can save it as a strategy, and so you always have one here. So for me, I, I don't use this too much. I do occasionally use it though, but you know, I will use external scanners just because it just works better for me, not saying this is bad. Now, as we go off to the right, you guys will see we have different um, different companies, and honestly, for me, I mostly use the US because I trade US companies and I will look at my watch list like that. Now, as we continue to scroll down, this is gonna be your portfolio so you guys can find and track what different people are using and buying. So, you know, we have um, this person here buying different companies, which is cool. So you can keep an eye on what other people are trading and buying. As we go down here, now this trade tab is very, very important. This is gonna be how you guys can execute trades, how you guys can trade. Now this is how most of the time my my trading setup will look. I will have a chart off to the, to the left, an AI monitor, my watch list clock, any orders I'm in, and then my positions here. That's how I most of the time will have it set up. I will occasionally, I will occasionally go to the watch list and trade from here, but I will say most of my trades are coming from here. Now, how you do that, we'll start a brand new one. They do have other ones, so if you want multiple stock quotes, boom, just like that. You, you can pick from that and then customize it there, but we'll actually do a blank page um, and go from there. So we'll just continue to go through these and you guys will see all of them. So we have the quotes panel, so this is gonna be Honestly, this is just gonna be the price, level two, um, buying and selling pressure. This one here, the trade tab, this is gonna be how you execute your trades. So the stock you're looking at, you know, we'll, we'll link them all up. Then any uh, account information here, uh, stock position, orders, orders are important. The reason why is because if you wanna cancel an order, that's very important because maybe you get a bad trade or you possibly did market or you did the wrong limit order or whatever it may be, you can cancel right there. Now, they do have history, which honestly we don't really need. Today's stats, we have order book, we have unusual option activity. Um, don't really use that to be honest with you. Then we have the brokers, we have shareholdings, executive summary, we got brokerage, full tick, don't really use it, um, but we'll go back to the general because this is gonna be where I will use it. So by far, one of the most important things is this. This is the AI monitor. So this will find stocks that are moving, find stocks that are on, um, you know, stocks on your watch list that are moving, and you guys can see watch list or all of the US companies, and how you adjust them is just like there, boom. So you just kind of adjust them however, you know, whatever meets your needs, you just adjust them very similar um, to just like a normal Windows computer, you know, thing. Um, then right here, we have the custom quotes. Now this right here, you guys can add um, whatever you wanna add. So if you wanna add uh, your ticker, boom, you can add that. If you wanna add summary, the bid and ask um, and, and all that stuff. So you can add charts as well. 
So you can keep an eye on everything like that. And we can go ahead and uh, make those bigger, smaller, and we'll do something like this. Uh, and the cool thing is like, you know, like, like how we mentioned the watch list, you know, on how you draw everything. On the trade tab, it's the exact same layout. So it's not gonna be super, super confusing. Uh, it's just, you know, it's just a little more customizable, which in my opinion is better. But anyways, anyways, we'll continue to go through these. Um, now, one thing though, what I always add on mine, I love to add a clock. I think having a clock is very, very important, but it's not, it's not a necessity. Um, but, but yeah, <laughs> you can add a calculator as well. You can add different ticker, you know, the the ticker there, and you can add, you know, a full chart. So where is it? Right, right here on, on charts. So it's very similar. I just like to add more information so I can see what's going on. Now you may be saying, Carter, how do you, you link all these up? So because if I click on you know MPLN, I want this stock to come across here, or I want my watch list stocks to come across here. Super simple. You just go to this uh, group settings tab, and you just make sure it's either on the same window color or the same number. So once we do that, we'll change all these to one like that, boom, one, and we'll change this to one, like such. So now when I click, you know, FNGR, boom, pops up here, pops up here. Now we're, we're instantaneously ready to trade. Now this is how I have most of my trade layouts is just keeping everything simple. You know, I don't like to have a ton of charts. I find it more confusing than beneficial. But anyways, um, this is how I set it up and that's how you guys can. And obviously make something that works well for you because what works well for me may not work well for you. So as we continue to scroll down here, we have this explore tab. I do use this quite often to see what the um, general, the general market's doing, you know, with the NASDAQ, S&P's up, what industries are doing well. And you can go to the industry heat map so you can see software's up, you know, we have um, different companies and sectors down like semiconductors. It's really cool. Then we have hot stocks. And then what a lot of people ask is, Carter, how do you find stocks pre-market or in, you know, before you trade? You They do have pre-market scanners on stocks that are moving and grooving. So this is a way where you don't have to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars on external scanners like trade ideas, because a lot of people do pay $120 a month for trade ideas, or you can just use this, which works very, very well. So they do have after hours lists, new IPOs coming out. Um, Chinese, they do have so, so many cool, cool things. Now, and this is just one part about this, they do have all these other um, stocks here, but by far they do have a strategy section. So if you're looking to possibly do like a bullish flag, they do have companies and all you gotta do is double click, boom, the stock pops up and, and you're, ready to, you're ready to rock and roll. And this is another way where you guys can find those, find those opportunities, find those plays. Um, and then they do have another screener here, which is awesome. They have AMC Holdings. So like um, what certain, pretty much what certain investment groups are buying. So like the Vanguard groups buying a lot of Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, NVIDIA. You know, what BlackRock's buying, very similar companies, you know, mo in most cases. <laughs> um, then we got, you know, changes for shareholds. So you guys can see AS. Uh, or AESI is moving, you know, and then you can just go through. They have so many different things, uh, announcements, dividend payouts. They got, you know, future analysis, stuff like that, which is which is great. Now, another cool thing that a lot of people don't realize is they do have a really solid news thing. You know, a lot of people pay money for news. With Moomoo, you get all the top headlines for free, which is awesome. So, guys, don't don't sit on this just because it's it's honestly great to have another cool thing is they do have this messaging tab this is where you kind of keep an eye on all you know the if you have questions for moo moo and stuff like that so don't use that too much <coughs> and then another cool thing is they do have like a facebook for moo moo so you guys can see you get you guys can see what other traders are buying and investing in and all that stuff so it's like a facebook book for moo moo which is great 
Now, as we scroll down, they do have paper trading. Like I've said in countless videos, this is super important for new traders. Now, for those of you that know me, you guys know that I'm a huge paper trader. I absolutely love practicing my trades and just working on different strategies. This account isn't made to make money. Obviously, I'm down you know, a good amount of money, $468. This account is to practice, work on things that I wouldn't normally work on, work on technical analysis, work on, work on a new strategy. As the stock market changes, I think it's always important to make sure your, make sure your strategy changes with the market. And with that being said, you know, Mumu has done a great job making it very, very easy to use uh, paper trading. All you gotta do is type in the stock you wanna buy, the quantity of shares and you are ready to rock and roll just like that so this is a great way where a lot of new beginners and a lot of new swing traders and day traders can practice honestly Moomoo does an absolute great job with everything that they have i have no complaints the only issue with Moomoo, honestly is it's just one account you only can open up a standard brokers account no iras but for me as a trader it's honestly not that big of a deal but i love it and i would highly recommend it and that's how i set up my uh swing trading account with Mumu. That's how I set it up, all my charts and everything. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it. We'll see you later. So guys, that is it. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys did, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next. Don't forget, you guys can sign up down below for Mumu, and don't forget to check out my swing trading course. We'll see you later. Take care.